Welcome to the Dry Dean 400 here in Dover, Delaware for the Monster Mile. Take a look at your point stands real quick as William Byron has taken the lead of the points after uh, the Talladega race last weekend. And Daniel Suarez was the one to take home that checkered flag, so congrats to him on that. He is actually qualified in the top 15 in this race, so be sure to look out for him as he could have a great day uh, but as of right now, we only have 37 cars in this field as usual. As let's get to your Dr. Pepper wants to watch. The 48 of Jimmy Johnson has 11 wins at this racetrack. This racetrack has also been known to be Jimmy Johnson's playground. He was also the fastest car in practice as he's also starting on pole. Rowdy Bush won the last time we were here at Dover and he had the second fastest car in practice. He's looking very strong today as he's qualified third and the rocket man Ryan Newman was able to set a rocket time in the qualifying with his coke mustang he's in the top 10 looking for a show to put on by Roush and drivers start your engines the drivers roll off and we get un and we have uh, Jimmy Johnson starting on pole as we have said before let's get to your starting lineup here as we have Jimmy Johnson on the pole as we just now said with Chase Elliott right to the outside in row number one Kyle Rowdy Bush to the inside of big bad Brad Kozlowski in row number two Kurt Busch to the inside of Slowy Logano in row number three in row number four we have Tyler Reddick and the rocket man Ryan Newman and Kevin Harvick, the defending series champion, to the inside of Martin Truex Jr. And in row six, we have Denny Hamlin in in uh, to the inside of Ryan Blaney. Denny Hamlin still looking for his first ever career win. Let's see if it can come here today. And we have Alex the Bowman Showman to the inside of last week's winner at Talladega, Daniel Suarez in the 96. William B. Byron to the inside of Big Daddy Austin Dillon in row number 8. And Chris Bosher to the inside of Eric Almaroli. And in row 10, we have that Jones boy, Eric Jones, in row, uh, in row number 10 to the inside of Matty D. Matt DeBiderato. And we have... Clint Boyer to the inside of John Hunter Nemechek in row number three with Recky Spinhouse Jr. to the inside of Watermelon Man Ross Chastain in row number 12. Bubba Wallace to the inside of Ty Dillon to the, uh, in row 13. And we have teammates in row 14. That is Austin Richards and Rick Dean. We have, we have Stuart Haas driver Cole Custer to the inside of Corey LaJoy in row number 15. In row number 16, we have Theron Webb to the inside of Quinn Hoof. And in row 17, we have Michael McDowell to the, insi to the inside of the GOAT of Timmy Hill. And in row 18, we have Jason Collins to the inside of Ring the Bell. It's Christopher Bell. Or run like hell, it's Christopher Bell. I, anyways, and rounding out the field is Ryan Priest in row number in row number 19. He's in the 37. But uh, as Jimmy Johnson, Hendrick teammates lead him deck to the, lead him to the line. Chase Elliott gets gonna get the jump off the restart, and Jimmy Johnson a bit slow on the on the start of this race. But it's gonna be Bragg. His last he was also gonna be taken second away as Johnson is slowly falling back. Something must be wrong with that 48 car. And uh, Joey Logano now looking for second place on his teammate right now. He's going to go for it. Kyle Busch is going to follow in with him. Logano pushes Elliott up the track. And Logano is going to lead that lap as Kozlowski hit the wall, exiting the corner. Going through turns one and two as Joey Logano is going to the, is gonna lead him down the backstretch. Chase Elliott trying to look for an opening on Logano. And it's going to come right here as you see Johnson on pit lane. And Elliott's going to take the lead going into turns number one and two. Logano trying to get the lead back. Oh, we got contact between leaders. That's William Byron and Alex Bowman. They both spin out going down the backstretch or uh, entering the backstretch, I should say. And it uh, looks like William Byron uh, got tight 
on the corner or exit in the corner and got up into his teammate right there. They both made contact and that sent them both into the wall and uh, most likely ending their days. And uh, Suarez, last week's winner, barely able to avoid them. How about that for them? And you can see uh, Chris Buescher narrowly avoiding William Byron as well as Byron's car uh, rolled down the track a bit. But um, only two cars involved in this crash, uh, that being William Byron and Alex Bowman. But you did see Jimmy Johnson going down pit lane, and that is because he has an engine that expired on him. A uh, tough way to end it for the pole sitter of the seven-time champ Jimmy Johnson, especially that since this is last season. And we take a look at your quick race recap. And uh, Chase Elliott had gained a spot. And you see everyone else gaining and losing spots as we go back to the green flag as Chase Elliott leads them back. And Logano up on the high side. Tight there. Big crash on the back stretch. Ryan Blaney's involved. Brad Kislowski's involved. Three of the Penske cars are involved as Martin Truex Jr. is involved as well. And a big crash on the back stretch of Dover on this restart. Ooh, hard into the wall went uh, Ryan Blaney as Kurt Busch uh, hit him right in the rear, in the right rear tire, and uh, looks like Tyler Reddick got involved as well. Bit of nose damage to his uh, number eight real tree Chevrolet, but uh, Brad Keselowski, he uh, he hit the out, he got tight exiting the corner, went up into his team at Logano, and that triggered uh, the big one, I should say, in the back stretch of Dover, but um. Everyone is okay after this hit. Everyone's winning and that has been put down. And uh, Ryan Blaney has climbed out of his car as he took one of the hardest hits out of everyone. But uh, as you can see here, Ryan Blaney is involved. A heavy damage to that number 12 car. But uh, Tyler Reddick did uh, not have too, uh, too much damage to his car. So he will be able to move on. But uh, Brad, Keselowski, uh, Brad Keselowski and... Um, <clears throat> Uh, Ryan Blaney had both um, uh, had some major damage to their car, so they are obviously out, and all three Penske cars are out as well. Chase Elliott did not lose or gain any spots, but uh, everyone else gained at least one. And we go back to the green flag here, and oh, Kyle Busch is sideways! He saves it going into the corner, but he almost collects Kevin Harvick! And Chase Elliott's going to be able to scoot away a bit with the lead, but Denny Hamlin's right there trying to charge him. Denny Hamlin trying all he can to get to this nine machine of Chase Elliott as Kevin Harvick's trying to hold off the three car of Austin Dillon for third place. But here we, but here we go entering the front stretch one more, uh, not one more time, but uh, for the eighth time today as uh, Chase Elliott is pull, slightly pulling away from Denny Hamlin. Hamlin looks to the low side. It's not going to work out there. As Elliott's going to be able to block him. Uh, oh, big wreck on the front stretch once again. Daniel Suarez, last week's winners is around. Huge hit for uh, huge hit for a lot of drivers on the front stretch. Take a look at this hit. As you can see, Eric Amarola went up onto the wall after he got pinched between the wall and Ryan Newman. As uh, Ryan Newman tried to uh, try to get uh, tried to avoid Suarez, but uh, Suarez. Um, got hit in the back after he spun around and uh, that caused the back end of his car to go up in the air a bit and that squeezed in Eric Amarola in between the wall and Kyle Busch got involved late as well and now um, er um, uh, Matt DiBenedetto barely avoided uh, Daniel Suarez as he was spinning but uh, these four drivers are now out of the race uh, tough way to end their days as Chase Elliott Gaining neither or neither gaining or losing spots, but Denny Hamlin gained three spots, looking for his first win. As Kevin Harvick uh, lost two spots, and we're going back to the green flag with two more laps to go. Oh, the <laughs> second and third place split split the leader. Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott gets loose going down the back stretch, but it's Denny Hamlin with the lead going down into the front stretch. As Austin Dillon's gonna file in right behind him. As we have one more lap to go here at Dover. Chase Elliott trying to charge in with these two leaders as Denny Hamlin is trying to make a is trying to get his first ever career win in the AAPCS. Dylan tries to make a last second move. It's not going to be enough and Denny Hamlin is going to be able to get his first win in the AAPCS and it comes in at Dover. What about that for a race and what about that for a finish? Denny Hamlin gets it done for the first time in his AAPCS career and he gets to burn down the house at Dover. 
Denny Hamlin, he started 11th today, and his lowest position that he had was 15th, but he led those two final laps, and uh, the last one is, all, is the one that really counts. But as we take a look at your standings, going into the final, uh, going into the uh, the final race of the regular season, as you see, Clint Boyer and Kevin Harvick are currently in the playoffs. Chris Buescher, Ricky Santos Jr., and Jimmy Johnson, they can all three of those drivers can point their way in. But Kyle Busch and Joey Logano are in a must-win situation in order to get into the playoffs. Uh, if they cannot win, or get, or if they cannot win uh, the Darlington race, then their playoff hopes are most likely shot. But uh, we could never know what we could see as uh, as uh, Darlington last year or last season. Uh, we saw Jimmy Johnson won the race, but Denny Hamlin was the one to be able to snag that next spot into the next round of the playoffs. But uh, here are your results in, uh, after the Dover race. Denny Hamlin was the one to take home the checkered flag for the first time, and Austin Dillon so close to victory lane once again as Chase Elliott had a win snagged from him on this final restart. But uh, he did score a third place finish. And Matt DiBenedetto getting another top five in his AAPCS career. How about that? And uh, Jimmy Johnson finishing dead last today. A uh, terrible, terrible way to end his um, to end his uh, pole winning race. But uh, Joey Logano and Kyle Busch, like I said, they are going to be in the must win situation. And uh, Martin Truex Jr. has not been having a great season number two. Uh, like I... Like it has been said before, uh, Martin Truex Jr. is on a winless streak dating all the way back to Las, to Las Vegas as he is number one. But we hope you enjoyed today's race, and it was a very fun one to, to film. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this race today. And the next race is going to be a throwback race.